Hi everyone, I've just woken up um, and seen on the internet that um, one of the first studies in the UK to the XMR, <laughs> the retrovirus, has been released. Um, the study's been done by the Imperial College London and it's interesting to see that um, the cohort of patients, it's been done on blood samples taken from um, King's College Hospital and um, and Simon Wesley has had his hand in, in this. Well, it was pretty obvious right from the start that um, Simon Wesley, um, Peter White and the various other psychiatrists in the UK who were trying to keep Emmy as a somatoform disorder rather than a physical disorder would try to discredit the Whitman Peterson Institute's um, uh, study back in October which showed a link between XMRV and ME. So um, the battle obviously has started. Um, interestingly, they never the Imperial College London never used the same criteria as um, as uh, the WPI. They um, didn't use the Canadian criteria. They used um, the CDC criteria. And most of us know here in the UK that even that they don't apply properly um, 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 at the ME clinics. Um, they use another version which may basically um, rules out anyone with any physical abnormalities. So um, it, it basically concentrates on those who are just tired all the time rather than those who have ME. The sad thing is, is that um, the two major charities in the UK, the ME Association and Action for ME, um, have not really come out and said much about this, apart from that it's disappointing. Um, neither of them have, have bothered to, to point out the fact, <coughs> excuse me, to the media, that the, the criteria used in um, defining the patients for this study um, did not eat, did not meet the same criteria as used by the Whitmore Peterson Institute. They seem they they, they 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 haven't pointed out that this is not the same patient group. Neither the Action for ME or the ME Association have been pushing, and neither of them have been pushing in this country for the adoption of um, the Canadian criteria and some of them um, seem to have almost been dead against it being used. Um, surprisingly, Charles Shepherd seems to have been one of those who've been against the use of the um, uh, uh, Canadian criteria. Um, and even in recent statements regarding the XMRV and that, um, research that might be done in the UK, he seems to have come out to suggest that, that the Canadian criteria shouldn't be used. So it's a little bit concerning. My concern is that the, both of the major charities who have all of the clout here in the UK will sit on the, the sidelines and just say, say nothing, while people in the UK who have ME will be s s stitched up. Um, that no one will challenge the quality of the studies and particularly the quality of the, um, the diagnostic um, criteria that's being used to choose those for the study. The only um, charity that's made a statement that's been of any value really has been Invest in ME. Um, uh, they have come out and pointed out the fact that, um, that this um, Imperial College London um, uh, uh, study does not use the same um, criteria as the Whitmore, Pet Whitmore Peterson Institute. I'm only hoping that the WPI will make a statement having looked, overlooked this science, this paper, and um, point out uh, the flaws in it. Um, I've left links to these on the side so that you can have a look at what's being said and I will speak to you soon. <laughs> I, I'll speak to you soon.